Poppy, <laughs> Poppy, what do you think? Do you think you're N-E? Does he, he doesn't even study MBTI. How many different ways can you think, how many different reasons can you come up with to invade Canada? And what are they? How many different reasons can I what? Come up with to invade Canada. Oh, didn't we do this before? I had like, I had like a couple. Well, if knowing the question now better, what would you say about it? All right, we could just go in guns a blazing. We could not how, why? Oh, why? Oh, um, we want their land. Uh, we want their money, their natural resources. Uh, those French Canadian girls are pretty hot. Uh, we just so take, ESTP. Take them. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Um. Uh, we can kill Justin Bieber. <laughs> um, oh, we could take the pelt from the beavers there. Uh, that's a great one. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. See, what I would have said, you can Expansion. steal all the maple syrup and build a giant tower of Eric in front of your front lawn. See, that's N-E. Okay, but here, okay, how is how I would it. Do it. We can make it an industrial section for America, like that. Only reserved for industrial uh, shit and manufacturing. Now, how? Well, I, I want to start a house example. There. How you were giving an example of any uh, with fi or unconstrained by a t? I would any it like this. Well, we could assert that we have a global hegemon by showing Canada. We could. Uh, take Canada's seat on the UN, thereby having two seats rather than just one. We could, we could go there on justification that we need to liberate Quebec. We could go there on justification that Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan is currently going to waste. We could take over Canada on the grounds that we're protecting Eskimos from Canadian uh, imperialism. We could take over Canada on the grounds that uh, since that's where the pipeline starts, we own that now. You know, those are my sort of NE approaches to it in the moment, but none of them are like artistic approaches in the fact, in the way yours was. You said, well, hmm, that's to true. be really NE, let's be artistic about it. And you were, and it was, that's, that's a great example of how creative NE can be. But what I do is an example of how versatile it can be as well. So the fact that Poppy did give a bunch of SE style reasons, I mean, it's ambiguous. So. It is. I mean, the yeah. Okay, that that it's not a definitive test. It's that the results are ambiguous to that test. I agree. So he when he takes the personality test, he's typed as ESFJ before. What would what would you think as far as ESFP versus ESFJ? If he were to be a sensing type and extroverted. That is a good point. A ENTP uh, wouldn't get ESFJ on the test. Okay, well, I more by ESFJ than ESTP because I see him as having alpha values. I mean, that's, a, that's one of the big reasons why I don't see him as an ESTP is I don't see him as having ESTP values. Even though he may frame things in concrete ESTP style terms, he's not uh, displaying the ESTP's impatience with discourse. In fact, his sort of creative drama side is, is consistent with ESTPs only in the moment, not as an interest. ESCPs may be great at hamming it up in the moment, but they don't understand or see there being as being any value in the abstractions of being an artist, you know? To them, that's just goofy, sissy stuff. Holy shit. What happened? Oh no, I'm trying to download this update 
It's not downloading. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck me. Kit Kat's brother, I have a question for you. Yes. You're going to say, like, you're, you're looking around, you're, you're say your school, and you go, here are some things that are wrong with the social dynamics of this school. Well, describe a couple of them and what your problem with them is. With the education system or? No, no, the social dynamics around the school. Let's say you were to have a problem with the social dynamics around the school. If you were to, to say, I'm going to focus only on things I don't like about the social dynamics. Tell me, what don't you like and how it plays out? Uh, can you explain a little bit more what you mean? I, I'm... I mean, you might say, oh, my school is cool because everybody's really, uh, everybody's really nice to everybody on the day when we have club day. But my school is really shitty because on uh, the day before final, the last Friday before finals, the eighth, the eleventh uh, grade class always beats up the ninth grade class, and the school officials let them get away with it. So that would be an example of things you like about the social dynamics and things you don't like about the social dynamics in school. Oh, yeah, I don't like the reputation our school has. That they don't even care about. How do I say this? We usually have like these uh, standardized testing sort of things, but they don't really count toward their, our, like us as a student. So people like would just like Christmas tree the test and not even care, even though it does reflect upon the school and how the teachers, uh, how, how they teach the students and their performance. So what don't you like about that? But the people don't really, they don't really care. They didn't even try just because they didn't want to do it. And why is that bad? Like I said, it reflects upon it does reflect upon the school and their reputation and the and the performance of the teachers. Okay, so are you can do you feel like it's important because you want to be in a school with a good reputation, you don't want them messing up with your school's reputation, or do you feel it's more important because uh, you think it's unfair to the teachers or what? I think it's I don't really care about the school's reputation myself, but I think it's unfair to the teachers. Hmm. How important is it to you in general for things to be fair and why? How much, how important is what? How important in general is it for you, for you, for things to be fair and why? Um, it's not really that important for most things to be fair more than, uh, I feel like for the most part, I do think most things should be fair, but a lot of people have a completely like nonsensical sense or of what fairness is. People don't know what, what fair means. Like, oh, the last last week we all had an ice cream party, but this week we have to do work. That's not fair. Like that's completely fair. You're rewarded and now do your work. <laughs> okay. So and you asked answered the question about social stuff that relates to the adults at the school. I want you to answer the question that doesn't include the adults at all. What is an aspect of the social dynamics of your school that you like or don't like? Uh, one thing I do like is uh, whenever there's a, a new like a new student, for the most part, most people are very uh, welcoming. And they're not very like, like cliche. Like, oh, I don't like that kid. He's new. It's very opposite. You play the guitar. What are some themes you think you might want to write songs about? Ideas you might want to get expressed in songs. If you were to say write some song lyrics right now. Just in general. <laughs> you were. I'm saying you've been tasked and given fifty thousand dollars to make with your guitar and your voice a concept album. What is the concept? <clears throat> what do you want to talk about on your concept album? Uh, I would talk about how. 
or I would I would make music about that's different in terms of not your traditional love songs. As a matter of fact, it would be the very opposite of love songs. Or hey. talk about how, how I don't want any more love songs or specifically. So it's, I, it's a critique of existing media then? I get, yeah. Okay. Is it a critique of love as well or just of the fact of love songs? Love songs, definitely. And if you were not writing songs that were critiquing love songs or love songs, what else would be worth writing songs about? Um, I think uh, maybe like personal issues. Like, uh, I don't know if, if a kid got like his... I, I've got a rash. No, more like if a kid is going through a divorce, I would make a song like uh, saying how it's mostly, it's, it's most part... Because most of the part, children of children of divorced parents always blame it on themselves, and although it, that's that's always what happens, I don't think that should be the case. Uh, King Cat's brother, who the fuck's fault do you think it is? Not yeah. my fault. I can't fault. It's obviously, Delilah's fault. And obviously, the reason your parents put up is because of you. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's cool. So that you got a point there that you say, here's something that you felt as though was important in your life and it would be worth a song about because others could identify with that and that would make it impactful lyrics, lyrics wise. What sort of other thoughts do you have about what makes good art? Um, I guess just making songs about personal experiences and uh, see if anyone else would relate. Like how uh, there, there's this girl I have a crush on and I just can't get over her, but she has a boyfriend and I was thinking of like a, maybe a good title would be like, stop, like stop obsessing or some shit like that. I don't know. How about this as, as lyrics to that one though, uh, Poppy, you can make lyrics say, I'm going to talk to you, Lauren Eric. See if I can't fuck up her relationship. Once she's single, I'm gonna pounce on that shit. Oh yeah, How about that. Uh, I'm I'm gotta let that one sink in a bit. Yeah, I should think, think about that. Where are my keys? Well, I agree. There's a lot, of, a lot of reason how to say those answers are se-ish. You have good cause. It is not unreasonable to make those claims at all. And I appreciate your independent of vision. I'm still not convinced, though. That you're right, but I'm not. I'm no longer convinced. I'm right. So yeah, that's substantial progress. Ah, sorry, kitty. Oh, I stepped on my kitty's paw. Oh, god dang it! I thought I fixed a problem here. You just made it worse. No, not well, sort of. Yeah, I just I said there wasn't enough storage, so I deleted a bunch of games. Yeah, I get rid of that. Waste of time. There's not enough storage. It's still not downloading. Hmm. God fucking damn it. Right, I'm just going to see if I. Cannot I know I can't download ass shit. 